thought it'd be nice to do this one outside since I've been inside for the last couple ones and this is outdoor gear, not indoor gear. This is going to be pieces of gear that I want to upgrade. So first off, I have these Sony WIC100 wired earbuds. They are not wired to my phone, but they are wired to each other, um, which is super annoying because uh, if you don't have both of them in, it's sliding all over the place, it's getting stuck on stuff. These are the suction cup tips, so if they uh, get ripped out of your ear, that actually does hurt a lot. Not sure what I want to replace those with, uh, since I, it would need to be something that has a good battery life, uh, is waterproof, um, and is like lightweight. Maybe something like Apple, since I already have that. Next, I have my phone holder. Uh, which, you know, did pretty well. It's got one fairly decent sized pocket in it. I have the iPhone SE. That fits in here really nicely and there's even a little space left over. I don't know if you can actually see it in there. Sometimes I would put my battery bank in here if I was charging my phone. Um, I'm not actually sure who made this. I picked it up at Shaw's. So they might have made it or they might have bought it and then sold it, but there's no identifying feature on here at all. My issue with this is mainly that there's no good way to attach it to my pack. Right now I just kind of have it like awkwardly hanging on, uh, which caused it to flop around a little bit. Sometimes my phone would threaten to fall out but never actually did. And there is a zipper on it to keep it closed. However, it does not have any waterproofing to it. I'm not sure if that's something that I could get with one, but that would be really nice, especially if I'm hiking in a wet area again. Next one I have are my shorts. These are from Liberty Pro. They are not specifically for hiking. They were just um, athletic shorts that I bought online and I was like, that'll probably be good enough, right? Uh, as you can see, one of the ties has been pulled almost completely out. I need to figure out how to get that back in there. But the issue I had with this is that the zipper fell off and broke and then I couldn't actually zip anything in my pockets. It's also coming off the stitching. Uh, which doesn't work that well, especially when you're climbing around in an area where you might really need to keep your uh, phone or whatever else you might have in your pockets secure. I just switched those out for another pair of Liberty Pro because I had them in a pack. Um, but they also did not dry very well. Anytime they got wet, they stayed wet for an obscenely long amount of time. I saw a lot of hikers with, I want to say it had chicken in the name. They were like really cool shorts. I remember one guy had orange with like snails on it. Not sure if those are actually any better, but I would like to upgrade these to something that would actually dry in a reasonable amount of time. Next, I have my Gossamer Gear trekking poles. I thought these did really well. I had an issue in the 100 mile wilderness where I snapped one. I had it down in a root and I slid into it and it just snapped instantly. My current issue with these is that the locking mechanism doesn't lock anymore. So it's still works like it's supposed to. I don't know if this is a good view. It like expands and goes down and then it can go back up. But if it's in the trekking pole, it just spins and spins and spins. It doesn't ever actually catch, which doesn't really work that well when you're trying to use it to hold your body weight up. I'm hoping there's something I can get that I can like shove in here to clean it and maybe that'll fix it. Cause these, ow, these things were like $160 and I, I got 2000 miles of use out of them, but I kind of would have liked to get more than that. I do need to get the bottom section replaced cause the metal bit is missing. This one still has it, but it definitely needs to be replaced. This one, I actually have the opposite issue. I cannot get it to undo itself, uh, which is also not great. 
but in the opposite direction. I really liked these up until uh, after my hike because they performed well. I liked the handles, they were really smooth. The grips were comfortable, but I think getting a pair of aluminum ones would actually work better because the locking me mechanism is on the outside and they're a bit stronger. White socks actually, not long after I broke mine, I don't remember what exactly he was doing, but he was like trying to get over some kind of obstacle and his bent obviously did not break. He was able to bend those back into shape until he could get a new one, whereas mine, um, once they were broken, were just kind of broken and done. The next one I have is the attachment on my hammock. So I have the Warbonnet Blackbird, which I actually really liked. It's got a pocket for all of my things. It's got a uh, bug net that goes all the way around it. What I didn't like was the, I don't know what this is actually called, the hanging thing that I chose. So this is a whoopee sling and it was incredibly finicky. It's supposed to be lighter weight than the other options, so I was like, how bad can it be? Uh, it drove me crazy every single time I had to hang this up. So what you're supposed to do is you put this end around the tree, you clamp it, and then that's obviously on the tree. And then you have to use this to find an angle where you can sleep comfortably in the hammock. Uh, and this, like I said, drove me absolutely insane trying to do this every night. I definitely want to try, oops, I keep bumping the table. I definitely want to get something that's a little easier to deal with, even if it might be heavier, um, which is going in the opposite direction of wanting to get lighter gear, but I don't currently have any plans to do any more through hikes. Uh, that was as fun and interesting as it was, it was a lot of time and money. It was going to take me a while to get back up to the point where I could do something like that. I have I just started reading Trail of the Lost, which is about missing PCT through hikers. Because that trail seems to be a little more easy to disappear on because you're way more out in the wilderness than on the AT. But I, I wouldn't mind going out to the Pacific Crest Trail and hiking a little bit of it. I do know that I don't want to do that alone. While I started the AT alone and I mostly finished it alone, it wasn't actually that fun being by myself because I had to make all the decisions. And if I was down in the dumps about something, I had to motivate myself and that wasn't fun. Um, and it's also a journey that I want to take with friends. I very, I very much enjoyed being part of the family that I was part of. And I enjoyed being with a uh, microwave troop after I linked up with them. Last piece of gear that I really want to upgrade is my tarp. This is the Warbonnet Superfly. This thing is massive. And I think... I can't remember if this is poly sill or poly nylon, but it's one of those, it absorbs water like nobody's business. I did like how much coverage it provided. I don't know if I can even hold this thing up. Absolutely giant. It's got the doors on the front. I liked having those. I know you're out in the woods and your tarp's not really gonna protect you if something or someone attacks you but it just made me feel better to have them. And on really nice nights, I would leave them open and I'd get some nice air in there. Um, I had them clipped together with these Z-Packs uh, during the night and during the winter. One thing that I think would have really helped me is if I had a line going from here to the other side. I think that was part of why it would collapse all the times because this would get wet and then start stretching and then the whole thing would be falling down like that. Um, it was a huge pain in my butt, but I never put two and two together that I should probably try that. So I do have these going off to the side. I have these little clip things. I think they're from Dutchware. They worked really well uh, most of the time. Sometimes they would come off the tree, which was annoying, but Everything worked out in the end, I finished with it. I would like to upgrade this to something in Dyneema, but Dyneema is really expensive. I'm gonna have to save up in order to do that. It's also a little more see-through than this. 
which I don't know if I'd call this see-through at all. Anyway, it's a little more see-through than that, but I'm hoping it will not absorb water as much as this one did. This one got super heavy when it was wet because it's so big. And this isn't really the tarp's fault, but the uh, they have these tabs on four sides so you can like put put a bar or like a trekking pole on top and then pull the sides up. Uh, and I was supposed to seal those with the silicone that it came with and I really did not do a good job of that so it would always leak every time it rained. Um, that should be an easy fix, hopefully. I just have to get a little bit of silicone and then try to smush it in here. Uh, maybe get the hose out and spray it with that before I go out hiking with it just to make sure it's all good. And I should have extra rope somewhere so I should be able to add this uh, ridge line here. I just need to do a little bit of research into it since I didn't have that much time before I started. So thank you for watching. If you have upgraded gear this year or you would like to upgrade some of your gear, let me know what you're getting. I love looking at gear even if I can't afford it or have no interest in buying it. It's like a fun little imaginary shopping spree. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.